Good morning from Dubai, a city of luxury, culture, excitement, and some pretty incredible beaches as well. I'm currently at the Dubai Marina Promenade, just taking a walk. This is a really cool residential area that has a lot of yachts parked on the canal and there's a walkway for people to go for runs, there are benches for people to sit, there are a lot of people taking their babies out for like a stroll in their stroller. So it's a really cool, chill area. But anyway, today I'm planning to go to the beach because it is a super hot day. I've never been to the beach in Dubai before. So I figured today should be the day. And the plan is to explore two main beaches, probably the most famous beaches in all of Dubai. And today is just going to be a day of relaxation, exploration and just good vibes so join me on this incredible beach adventure So in a lot of places in Dubai, you'll find these Kareem bike stops where you're actually able to rent a bike and they're also the same for scooters. So it's a very convenient and easy way to get around the city without having to pay for taxis or Ubers and all that kind of stuff. I've always wanted to try and ride one of these scooters around the city. So I think I'm going to do that now. So to rent the scooter, you just need to download the Lime. Oh! God, man, these crows are killing me. You just need to download the Lime app and then you just have to scan. There's a barcode on every scooter and you just scan that with your phone. And it says here it is free if you want to book for 10 minutes. So that's pretty nice. Just trying to read the directions so I don't have any accidents on the road. Okay, I'm feeling fairly confident. We'll see how this goes. This is so fun! So one cool thing about these scooters is when you get into um, certain areas in Dubai, it actually automatically reduces the speed because they are considered slow zones. So in order to prevent accidents from happening, the speed is limited to, I think it's five kilometers per hour, which is very interesting. And it works, that works with the help of GPS. So there you go. So I've kind of just got a slow cruise going on here. I'm actually just looking for somewhere to park the scooter because there are designated parking spots so that's what I'm doing. This is a really nice part of town. There's a lot of um, residential apartments here and hotels so that explains why it's very um, fancy and the beach is just straight ahead. I have some bags of water, Red Bull, because it's just so hot today and you just need to stay hydrated. So this is Jumeirah Beach Residence Beach, one of the popular beaches in Dubai. There are a lot of people here just chilling, swimming, tanning, um, a lot of people with kids. So it's a very nice area to relax. I'm just sitting on the beach, I'll probably go for a swim in a few minutes, but just taking in the view and right in front of me is the Dubai Eye. And there are also some fun obstacle courses on the water for kids and a lot of people on jet skis as well. Very chill, very, uh, very sunny day. So it's nice to be at the beach today.
the water is actually colder than you would expect. Exactly. For such a hot place, this feels too good. This beach has a very long uh, coastline and it's just packed with people, mostly just foreigners, tourists from all over. Just finished swimming at the beach and one thing I found really interesting is so there are public showers you can use but you have to pay for them and it's five dirhams and you get two minutes of shower time and right behind me is the cashier counter and right in front of me is the showers so very convenient very cheap and yeah I like the fact that there's that option included for people to tidy up a bit before they leave So that is one beach down. I wish I could show you a lot more stuff, but I wouldn't really say there's so much to show. There's just a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants, cafes, that sort of thing, and a lot of people too. So it's a very lovely beach. I really enjoyed my time at the beach. But now we're gonna go on to Kite Beach, which is maybe 20 minutes away by car from here. And I'm really excited to check that one out. So let's go. One of the things I love about Dubai is that you are guaranteed to meet people from all over the world, particularly immigrants who are able to shed some light on their experience living and working in this mega city. And where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. Islamabad, Lahore. I'm from Kashmir. Kashmir? Oh, wow. Nice. I'm from Kashmir. I'm from Kashmir. I'm from Kashmir. No, but I want to go. I hear Pakistani people are very, very full of hospitality. Very nice people. You will go in Pakistan and you can see for myself. Yes. Here, oh. this is a different country, mm. different city. Mm -hmm. It's a bit different, yeah. How many years have you been in Dubai? Since uh, 2017. Wow, okay. And are you enjoying it? You like it? Brother, in this uh, place, mm. if you have fun, yeah, if you have money, you're comfortable. And you feel comfort. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will enjoy more. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But if you have work. Yeah. And your salary is low. Yeah. In your life, in your daily routine, mm -hmm. might work, 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 work. Yeah. Wow. No time. No time for no anything else. Sense. Relax, about yeah. the enjoyment yeah yeah so do you do you go to pakistan a lot since you moved to dubai or no time yes if i have like uh maybe vacations are coming i will go back to pakistan i'm not going anywhere okay is your holiday long like how many two weeks one month uh after two years oh wow three months three months okay wow so every two years you can every try and go years. back after one year, mm -hmm. I can go 45 days. Okay, okay. And is your family here in Dubai or all in Pakistan? No, all in Pakistan. All in Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's, it's difficult if you're in one place, your family is in another place, you know? Yeah, wow. yeah I make uh, videos. Videos. For YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Culture, travel, food. I don't look like a food person. Food person, no. Why? <laughs> food person is it's supposed to have a pot belly. <laughs> I also do a lot of exercise, so maybe that's why. That's why. So you think life as like an immigrant here is very difficult life for immigrants? 
depends on your job. It depends on the job. Okay. If you have a weekend, yeah, you will more enjoy. Yeah. But if you have no weekend, you have a 12 hours duty every day. Yeah. This life is very tough. It's very tough. Yeah. And as a you know as a driver, it's very tough because you every day you work. every day. Wow. If we are not working, yeah. always pick up you. Mm -hmm. So, just arrived at Kite Beach, but unfortunately today is very hazy, very dusty. So there aren't as many people on the beach. The other time I passed by this beach, it was full of people. A lot of people were kite surfing and it was really fun. But today is so empty and that's because the weather conditions just aren't very good. So there isn't that much stuff to do today, which is a bummer. Very nice area though, it's very close to a residential area so if you live in this area it's super easy just to get down to the beach you have such easy access This is a cool part of the beach. It's just a lot of rocks. Oh man. This is such a beautiful view. Have the sunset, well almost sunset, behind the ocean, these rocks. It's very windy, very cool, a very lovely place to be. There's a very important place I need to find. It's been regarded as one of the best known uh, restaurants in Dubai, and that is Salt Restaurant. And it's actually here on the beach. I'm just trying to find it now because I need to see what the hype is all about. So here's what happened. Due to some bad stroke of luck and gross miscalculation, I had the taxi drop me off at the far end of the beach, which meant that Salt would be a mile away. At this point in the day, I didn't have it in me to make another trip. So I decided it would be better to visit the next day. So it's the next day and look where I am. The famous, world renowned Salt. So we can finally go in and see what the hype is all about. This place is really nice, it's free seating, you can sit wherever you want, inside or outside and it is self-service so you can scan the barcode for the menu or just go up to the, it's sort of like a food truck and order. Very nice environment, it's very chill and it's just like, it is like a proper beach vibe because it's just beach sand beneath your feet, very comfortable seats, you have the umbrellas and the fresh air. On the menu they have sliders, they have plant-based burgers, they have chicken tenders, fries, lots of good stuff.
that was a delicious lunch very tasty food good ambience good atmosphere very chill environment i can see why everybody loves this place um the first thing i can say about just like comparing this and Jumeirah Beach Residence Beach is Kite Beach seems to be much larger. There's a lot more space. Um, I may be wrong, but that's just how it seems. There aren't as many people here. It's not as crowded as you could see from the other beach. It was really packed. Um, but I like this one. There's You have a lot of space to yourself. It's a very serene environment. I thought I would see people kite surfing, but I haven't seen that today. Well, actually, the weather is pretty bad anyway, so I guess not really the best conditions for kite surfing. But other than that, both fantastic beaches. Each one has its own unique charm. So visit both whenever you come to Dubai because they're both amazing. And of course, Kite Beach has salt restaurant, which I would recommend. So there's that too there are a lot more beaches to explore in dubai and i'm very well aware of that so next time i come back i'm going to explore even more beaches but i'm pretty happy with these two and i can finally say i've gone to a beach in dubai so yeah but thanks so much guys for watching the video take care and i will see you in the next one peace <laughs>